Oh, hello there. This is a wire and well, you might ask, well, of course it's a wire, but why are there so many different colors and sizes and what do they mean? Well, don't I have the perfect video for you? Stay tuned because we're gonna go over the different wire colors and what exactly do they mean in an easy way to identify them. First up, we'll tackle the dryer cord. Now, I'm gonna do this one first because it probably gets the most questions on the internet on which prong goes to what wire and what the different wires mean. For a dryer cord here in the US, we're looking at a 240 labeled circuit here and I'll briefly go over the wire colors and which prongs they go to to answer those questions once and for all. On a dryer cord here in the US, typically you're gonna have four wires. You're gonna have a red, black, white, and green. Now, there is a chance that you may have an older three prong dryer cord and it's only gonna have three wires. And the reason why it only has three prongs and three wires is because the neutral and ground, which are the white and green on this one, are tied together in the cord somewhere. How the dryer cords work here in the US, you're gonna have one leg of power on your black and one leg of power on your red wire. You're also gonna have your white neutral and then your green is your ground. Now your green sometimes may have a yellow stripe that's fine and if it's not red it's possibly blue but most of these dry cords are standard with a red and black. So your black is always the hot wire here in the US. If you open up your standard outlet you'll also see a white and a black neutral and hot. That is because it only has one leg of power, which is your 120 volts AC. Coming in on your black hot wire, return on your neutral, and then on these dryers, as I mentioned, you have two legs, so you're combining two legs of 120 volts for your 240. Now, if you measure that at your wall, it may not be exactly 240, that's just what it's labeled at. Now, if you ever need to know which leg goes to which prong on your plug, I'm gonna demonstrate that for you here. That way you don't have to do it at home. Now we've got our meter in the continuity function. I have turned the audio continuity beep on. So if we touch the two together, we're getting our beep. So simply go around to each prong and we found where our red wire connects on our plug. So now what you could do is with a black Sharpie, put an R on that prong, or if you have a red paint marker, you could put a dot next to that prong and that way it's always labeled for you. Moving on to the black and you can probably guess it, it's gonna be the one right across from the red, keeping that red and black on separate sides of the plug. So again, you could put a B on there with a red or with a Sharpie or a little black dot next to it on the plug if you needed to mark where your wires are going. Now your green is either gonna be the top or bottom and it is the rounded plug on the top. That is your green, ground that's your bare copper ground and then you're also going to need a neutral which is your return path in the circuit and that should be the bottom and there's your four wires on your four prong dryer plug here in the u.s that's just a really simple way to figure out which prong goes to which wire just for troubleshooting or wiring purposes. Next up, we have our 14-2 Romex. Now this is NNB non-metallic sheathing B cable. Now what this is, is your typical house wiring cable. Now the 14 gauge is gonna be for your 15 amp circuits. If you had a 12-2 or a 12-3 Romex, then that's going to be for your 20 gauge. The 14 gauge wire, of course, is smaller than your 12 gauge wire. Now these, like I said, are rated for 15 amp circuits. And how you identify these is the same as the dryer cord. You have a black, which is always gonna be your hot wire here in the US, your white, which is always your return neutral path. And then you have your bare copper ground, which is actually just underneath a thin coating of paper. And when you go ahead and use it, you'll peel that down and cut it off. As you can see, it's just bare copper. So this is a 14-2. Here's a picture of a 12-2. And like I said, that would be for your 20 amp circuit. And here you have a picture of 12-3 Romex. 
This is the thicker 20 amp rated wiring. It does have the three. So the three never includes the ground. So you have two hot, the red, black, and then you have your neutral, the white, and then your ground. Now on the other side of the circuit, on your circuit breaker panel, your red and black are going to go either to a double pole circuit breaker or two individual circuit breakers. This is giving you the 240. So you're getting two times the 120 that the 12.2 has. And as you can see here in the picture of 12.2, it only has the white and black wire along with the ground, but there's your two, white, black. And that's common wiring for household 20 amp circuits. And what we have here is THWN. And what that stands for is thermoplastic heat and water resistant with a nylon jacketed sleeve. These are pretty robust. They're pretty sturdy wires. They can bend and hold their shape. These are 12 gauge. They do make them in other wire sizes, of course. I've just got a red and black here, which again are my two hots in this circuit. Now this wiring here is good for wet locations and high voltage situations. It will carry up to 600 volts on these wires. It will withstand some pretty good heat. They're rated for 90 degrees Celsius and they are good for outside, but they're not recommended for direct burial. They will work well in conduit. So a lot of times you're going to see this THWN inside of conduit in industrial and commercial practices. A lot of times you probably will not see this in your home, but you may run into it in certain unique situations. So just wanted you to see what that was. Now these are pretty standard again with your black, hot, red, hot, white, neutral, green ground. There are blues. There are browns and I'll go ahead and throw in the description some common wire color variations that you might see here in the US. I just wanted to go over that you might run into some different wire colors in your corded electronics. So this is a typical power plug that could go to a PC or other small test equipment or appliance. And I just want to point out that these wire colors look a little bit different. Like this is blue, this is brown, this is green and yellow. And then you also have this spare wire here. What is that? These types of plugs in your bottom center port right there is going to be your ground. So that's going to be the green and yellow right here. As I mentioned before, your ground wire might be solid green or green and yellow. So let's check that out with our meter. Aha, and that is in fact the ground. One of these should be the neutral and one of them should be your hot. This is the neutral side, so let's find out. And in this situation on this plug, our blue wire is the neutral, which means that the other side should be our brown hot wire, and that is the case. Now, what is this other wire here and why isn't it connected to anything on the plug, you might ask? Well, this is a shielded cable, so the jacket on this cable itself is shielded underneath the blue rubber sheathing. So that's going to give it some protection from EMF or some other interference. So if you run into that, don't worry about where that's connected to because that is going to be connected to the shielding inside the cable itself. The last cable I'll go over is your common extension cord. And a lot of people want to know which side is the neutral, which side is the hot on your plug or your receptacle side. So sometimes there's an easy way to tell just by looking at the cord itself. And here you can see one of my prongs is slightly larger. This one's slightly larger. So the slightly larger prong is going to be your neutral side. And that fits into, of course, the bigger receptacle hole of the two. As you can see, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but the hot hole is going to be a little bit smaller than the neutral in most cases. Now, if you have some older cords, they may be the exact same size. So another common way to look is to look at the jacketing itself on your cord. Now, it's going to be really tough to see in this video, but if you look at your cord really close. I'm not saying all cords, but many, many cords here in the U.S. is going to have a smooth side and it's going to have a grooved side. Again, it's really hard to see in the camera, but if you put your cord under the light, one of your two cords is commonly going to have some grooves or ribs on it, and the other side is going to be very smooth. Which side is which, you might ask? Well, the grooved side right here is going to my neutral. Your groove or ridge side of your cord is your neutral and the smooth side of the cord is your hot. Again, not all cords have that, but many do. It is an easy way to identify which one is which just by looking at your cord. If you want to verify this with your meter, let's do that now. With the meter, we'll go ahead and insert the red into our neutral side and we'll look for our grooved side and there we have it. 
it's making continuity. So we do know that our groove side of our extension cord wire is the neutral side, which only leaves our smaller hole for the hot side. We'll come over to our solid smooth side of our plug here and the smaller prong. And of course that is the hot. So that's how you can identify an extension cord, which one's hot, which one's neutral. Now, if you do have a three prong extension cord with a rounded plug on the bottom, then that is going to be your ground. Folks, hopefully now you've got a basic understanding of what the different wire colors actually mean in your circuits and household wiring. And if you've enjoyed this video, watch this one right here. I know you're gonna love it. And if you haven't done so already, please, please subscribe to the channel right there. It does something to the algorithm. I don't know what, but it helps the videos push out to so many more people. I thank you and I will see you on the next one.